वेलकम गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस फॉर टूडेज वेबिनार लेट्स बिगिन विथ कोड इफ यू आर नॉट विलिंग टू लर्न नो वन कैन हेल्प यू इफ यू आर डिटरमाइंड टू लर्न नो वन कैन स्टॉप यू सो फॉर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू चैप्टर ऑफ लर्निंग आई तनिशा बींग योर मॉडरेटर फॉर टूडेज इवेंट वॉन्ट्स टू एक्सटेंड अ वॉर्म ग्रीटिंग एंड गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्रेजेंट हेयर आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग गुड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ होल सेम्स फैमिली I welcome you all for today's international webinar and the, on the topic of positive attitude must for success and to add our guest of honor and today's speaker Mr Sanjeev Sirogi it is a great honor to have you with us sir before i proceed let me take a brief moment for my, the introduction of my organization sems welfare foundation is a non profit entity established to work in the areas of education social welfare women empowerment skill development entrepreneurship livelihood generation employability health and research culture international cooperation sports environment protection or any other similar sectors we promote healthy lives a balanced and active community and strong business next is our topic intro which we are going to discuss in today's event a positive attitude helps you cope more easily with the daily affairs of life it brings optimism into your life and makes it easy to avoid worries and negative thinkings if you adopt it as a way of life it would bring constructive change into your life and makes them happier brighter and more successful with a positive attitude you see a brighter side of life become optimistic and expect the but to happen it is certainly a state of mind that is well worth developing next Let me introduce our guest of honor, Mr. Sanjeev Sirohi, an economics graduate from Delhi University, joined Indian Military Academy in 1975, served for 35 years, and retired as a colonel in 2009. In last 11 years, he has interacted with more than 2,000 students and helped them in carving their success path by developing their soft skill, employability skills. In last couple of years, Colonel Sanjeev Sirohi has partnered with prestigious CBSE schools in NCR to speak with the adolescents, promoting promoting life skills and helping them in identifying their identities and conducting teacher motivations and training workshops. Now over to you, sir. Thank you, Tanisha. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we discuss a topic which is very close to my heart and which is very very important not only in professional life but in your personal life, in your social life, in your every met aspects of your life. This topic is very very important, and I want you all to pay special attention to what I am going to talk. Positive attitude must for success. Ability teaches us how we do. motivation determines why we do and attitude decides how well we do <laughs> i will tell you a story before i start my main talk and most of you may have heard that there was a man who made his living by selling the balloons he has a balloon of many colors in fact all colors except for the black color what whenever his business used to go down what he used to do is he used to release one balloon which was filled with the helium gas and that balloon used to go up and whenever all the children they used to see the balloon going up they used to rush to this man to purchase balloons now this was his marketing strategy that whenever the sales were down he used to just release one balloon and when children used to see that they all used to run to him <laughs> one day while he was standing he felt that somebody was tugging his jacket he looked down and he saw a small boy and boy asked him if you release a black balloon will that also fly now this gentleman moved by the concern of a little boy he said gently son it is not the color of the balloon it is what inside that makes it go up so ladies and gentlemen it is nothing else in our life it is what inside of us which makes us to move up or down and that thing is attitude william james a famous fellow from harvard university said the greatest discovery of my generation is human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitude of mind so ladies and gentlemen if you want to alter your life you can 
alter it by altering your attitude and the best part is that you can do it now at this very instant now what all we will be covering in this talk of ours for about 40 to 45 minutes firstly let us understand what is an attitude secondly attitude is internally controlled that we will discuss thirdly attitude is a choice then we will discuss importance of attitude to the individual and importance of attitude to an organization factors that determine attitude benefits of positive attitude and which is very very important is when we become aware of our negative attitude why don't we change we all know we must have a positive attitude but in spite of that we don't change why and lastly i will list out few factors with the help of which you can always maintain positive attitude so with this as a scope now let's move further now what is an attitude think of attitude as the mental filter through which you experience the world some people see the world through the filter of optimism that is the glass being half full while others see life through the filter of pessimism that is half that the glass being half empty your attitude is your window to the world if you have different colors of window you will see different things in the world in different colors so that is what your attitude is attitude is a habitual way of thinking it is your habit how do you think what do you think attitude is a viewpoint or a frame of mind it is a viewpoint attitude is approach to things or reaction to situations in life different people different uh, react differently to the same situation an attitude is a pattern of thoughts or thought patterns howard university has found out they were they carried out a study and they found out that a person get a job or promotion 80% of 85% of the time because of its attitude and only 15% of the time because of intelligence and knowledge of specific facts and figures i think it is very very ironical it is very unfortunate that we spend so much of money we spend so much of our time to only get 15% of advantage rest 85% goes to the attitude so ladies and gentlemen the foundation of success regardless of your chosen field is the attitude attitude is a choice attitude makes all the difference it can make or break your lives we might understand it better by looking at the philosophy of an ant who sets an example of how to look at an obstacle now let us see what is the philosophy of an ant you will never see ant sitting idle it is not in their nature they are hard working ants never quit they persist let me give you an example you may see the ants whenever any obstacles come in the way they don't stop they go over it they go on the sides and they will keep on trying they will keep on following till they cross the obstacle and that is the reason they persist and if we also follow that attitude in life our life will totally change and not change in long period it will change instantly next is ants are far sighted they don't think only about summer in summer they think about winter in summer that is why you will see lot of ants carrying their food for the winters so they have lot of foresight ants have a work life balance <laughs> we as a human beings having so much of intelligence and when we boast of our intelligence because human beings are the only species who they say have an intelligence but in spite of that we can't balance our life and work ants they are able to do they work during summers and rest during winter they hibernate during winters to conserve the energy they know when to stop working ants are purpose driven you will find all ants they move with a purpose their sole job is to look for a food for their mates they don't get distracted they are always focused and last is ants carry big responsibilities although ants are small their contributions are big and you will be amazed to know that ants they can handle up to 100 times their body weight how much weight can you handle you cannot even handle 10 times your body weight they are able to handle 100 times their body weight so what do we learn from the ants ants are hard working they are purpose driven and far sighted they don't quit they maintain great work life balance that is what 
the end philosophy is and if we follow that philosophy i think we will be able to achieve much more than what we are achieving today importance of attitude to an individual now let me tell you about a person whose name was donald macmillan now donald macmillan was a arctic explorer and when he was setting out for an expedition to the north pole he received a letter from an unknown person and on cover of that letter there were words and what were those words to be open when everything has gone dead wrong now let me tell you this letter was not opened for 50 years by macmillan and without opening this letter he informed all his friends that i have not encountered anything so difficult in life where i could open that letter so the message is very very clear it is entirely up to us that whatever the circumstances are whether we take them as a good one or the bad one the right one or the wrong one now what is an importance of attitude to an individual a confident enthusiastic attitude is more important to your success than how you dress how you look how much skills you have how much education you have accumulated over the period of time and how gifted you think you are the good news is that you have an opportunity to choose your attitude for each and every situation during your day your attitude is a magnet if you want to be around people with positive enthusiastic and eager to live life to the full your attitude has to be the same now i will just show you a simple attitude equation and i want you to pay special attention because if you pay attention to this equation only then all that what i will be talking about will be absolutely clear now this equal equation is ia plus aa into a is equal to ihp now ia stands for inborn attributes now what are inborn attributes these are what you are born with your natural tendencies your temperament and your gentle their general mental ability that is what the inborn attitudes are the second is aa that stands for acquired attributes now what are act acquired attributes these are the knowledge skills talent experience and ability that you have gained or developed over a period of time since your childhood till now a stands for attitude and ihp stands for individual human performance so let us come back to the equation now ia that means in born attitudes plus our acquired attitudes if we multiply them into a then we get individual human performance now if we have to improve our performance what can we do either we increase ia that is in born attitudes but in born attitudes the inner aspects of our personality are largely fixed at birth they are your genetic heritage you can't do much to change them so as far as in born attitudes are concerned you cannot do anything about them then comes your acquired attributes now at acquired attributes yes you can develop them and change over time through study and practice but the process is slow and deliberate which requires patience which requires discipline and which requires considerable effort so if you want that you must change your acquired attributes or you should develop your acquired attributes then you cannot do in a day or two it will take lot of time so what we are left with if we have to improve our performance we are left with attitude which is the wild card that is the only thing we can change so with this equation what i want to project is what i want to you to understand is that in born attributes you cannot change acquired attributes you can change but it will take lot of time but if you want instant improvement in your performance then you must have positive attitude and that is what will take you to your epitome of your career not only your career your social life your personal life i hope i have made myself very clear and please understand this equation now we come to the importance of attitude to an organization because this is very very important have you ever wondered why some organizations are more successful than the others it is no big secret they simply think and act more effectively and how do they do that they do so 
by investing in their most valuable asset. And the most valuable asset in any organization are the people. And this is the one asset which is largely untapped and most expensive. <laughs> the greatest potential for the growth, for productivity, for performance, for achievement and profitability lies with the skills and abilities of the average person who is working in an organization. So if you have to improve the performance of an organization, you have to improve the performance of the individual person. And how do you improve the performance of the individual person is as I have explained to you in that simple equation, you have to have positive attitude in your staff. According to Robert Half and Associates, a consultant and a research company, the average person works only 50% of his potential in his any organization. The other 50% is largely wasted. And how it is wasted? It is wasted in idle conversation with co-worker, wasting time on internet, coming late or going early from office, extended tea breaks or lunch breaks and handling personal business during office hours. One of the reasons for this time wastage, which is one of the greatest financial drain on any organization, is that the people do not have right attitude. This is the biggest challenge to managers. One question which has been asked to all the executives of big organization over a period of time is that if they had a magic wand and there was one thing they could change in the employees, what would be that? Almost all of them had only one answer. And that answer was that if we can change one thing in our employees, we would like to change their attitude. So that is what the importance of attitude is in any organization. With better attitude, people would be better team players. They will cut down on waste. Their quality and bottom line will go up and the organization would be a greater place to work with. Now we come to the second part of this talk. That is, so far I have told you what is an attitude, how it is going to affect the individual or the organization. Attitude we have discussed is a choice and it is internally controlled. We control the attitude. Some people have this impression that it is because of the external circumstances. We are attitude changes. No. I say big no. Why? Because it is our internal thing which dictates our attitude. If external factors were important, then most of the people who are doing well would never have reached where they are today. Now factors that determine our attitude. First is we must understand and ask these three questions. Are we born with attitudes or do we develop them as we mature? That is number one. Number two, what are the factors that form our attitudes? And thirdly, very important, can attitudes be changed? Now let us discuss this one by one. Now we all start our life with our good attitude or should I say with a clean wind mental window. Just watch a young child. They are always laughing, giggling. They have sunny disposition. They love to explore new things. For example, when the child starts learning how to walk, he falls 100 times, but he gets up at 100. Every time he gets up, he never complains of their lousy teaching by of his or her parents. They don't complain about the carpet. They don't complain about anything, but they keep on trying. Because the window is squeaky clean and he feels that he can conquer the world. But as you know, there comes a time in life when he starts growing, that life starts throwing some dirt on that clean window that is our attitude. And what happens? Our windows get splattered by criticism from our parents and teachers. That is the elders members of our family or the school teachers. Our windows get smudged by ridicule from our peers. Our windows get smeared by rejections. We start facing rejection as we mature in life. Our windows get spoiled by disappointments. We get disappointments every day and our minds get clouded by all uh, the doubts. So this is what happens to us when we start growing. So what is the answer? The answer is that we must continuously clean our windows. And how do we clean our windows? By having a positive attitude. So what happens if we don't are clean our windows? We lose our enthusiasm. We get frustrated and depressed. And most tragically, we give up on our dreams. All because we fail to clean 
our attitude window. Now, let us discuss, are we born with attitudes or do we develop them as we mature? What are the factors that form our attitudes and can attitudes be changed? Are we born with attitude do we, or we develop them as we mature? Like I told you, we are born with clean or we, I'll say positive attitude when we grow up. What are the factors which affect our attitude? Environment. And what are the environment? Our home environment. If the home environment is positive, then obviously we will have a positive attitude. Environment of the school. That's why the school has very, got very, very important role in forming the attitude of a child. Your workplace. If you're dealing with positive people, obviously you will have positive attitude. Your social life, your economic status, your religious beliefs and your political system. All these things contribute towards your attitude whether positive or negative. Then is your experience. Events and experience in life determine our attitude. They become our reference points in our lives. And we draw conclusion which serves as a guideline for the future. For example, if you have a positive experience with some individual, obviously you will have positive attitude towards that individual. And lastly, the education. Holistic education ought to teach us not only how to earn, but how to live. So these are the three factors. These are known as three E's, environment, experience, and education. Let's see the benefits of positive attitude. Why everyone talks that we should have a positive attitude? Firstly, make swap pleasing personality. You will find that all those people who have positive attitude in life, they have a very pleasing personality. Everyone wants to get closer to these types of people. They are the magnet. They are the human magnets. Next is when you have positive attitude, it has energizing, invigorating effect on you. It gives fulfillment, fulfillment and makes life meaningful. It inspires oneself and others. It increases productivity and profitability. I told you when I discussed the importance of attitude in an organization. It fosters teamwork and better relationship, not only in your professional life, but in your personal and social life. It breeds loyalty and dependability. Very, very important for an individual or for an organization. Reduces stress and increases happiness. Very, very important in today's world. When the whole world, working world, is under a lot of stress, your positive attitude is an antidote for that. Follow your positive attitude and your cortisol level goes down. You can solve problems and make positive decisions and make positive contribution to your organization. So these are some of the benefits which I have listed. Now we come to very, very important. That's why I have put it in red here. When we become aware of negative attitudes, why don't we change? Human nature generally resists change. Whether for good or for bad, I don't know. But we all, we resist any change. Change is very uncomfortable, regardless of whether it is a positive or negative change. A change is very stressful. We come under a lot of stress when there is a change. Even change in office timings can lead to a lot of stress in most of the employees. Change of school timings create a lot of stress in the minds of teachers as well as the students. Sometimes we get so comfortable with our negativity that even when the change is for better, we don't want to accept it. We prefer to stay with the comfort of the negative. I'll tell you a story. And this story was written by Charles Dickens. He wrote about a person who was locked for many years in a dungeon. After serving his sentence in a jail, he was taken out of his cell and he was taken out during daytime in bright sunlight and in the open world. When he came out, he looked left and right. After some time, he became uncomfortable and he asked the security guards to take him back to his cell. Why did you do that? Because to him, Sorry. To him, the dungeon, the cell, the chains, the darkness were more familiar, secure and comfortable than accepting the change of freedom in an open world. The same is the case with the negative people or the negative attitude. Once we have a negative attitude, we try not to change. In spite of all the benefits which I have listed you and which I have told you, in spite of the equation which I have explained to you, most of the people, they continue to stay with a negative attitude. Okay, now we come to the last 
aspect what we are going to discuss and i think this is the most important so far i have been talking about all the advantages all the benefits of positive attitude now let us discuss what all should you do to be a positive be a positive person or to have a positive attitude now norman vincent pele has said long time ago that any facts facing us is not as important as our attitude toward it i repeat i quote any fact facing us is not as important as our attitude toward it for that determine our success or failure so it is our attitude towards any thing which is or baby circumstances or fact or any situations it is our attitude which is important during childhood we form attitude that last lifetime a positive attitude acquired during the formative years make life meaningful and rewarding in every manner if your early childhood experiences have been positive and you have a positive attitude you are indeed fortunate and you have a head start over all other people but if you have acquired a negative attitude because of your environment because of your education because of your experiences whether by design or by default you are, are you stuck with it of course not i repeat you are you don't have to be stuck with it can you change your attitude yes definitely is it easy no it is not easy is it worth it yes it is worth it if even if you have a positive attitude is there any guarantee that you will always remain positive no unless you make an effort to maintain it how do you build and maintain positive attitude very very important question firstly you become aware of the principles that build a positive attitude you must know what are the principles you must know that there are some principles with the help of which you can develop or you can build a positive attitude number 2 once you are aware of the principles which can create a positive attitude in your mind you should have a desire to be positive like charles dickens prisoner who in spite of being released after so many years of staying in a dungeon he still felt uncomfortable when he came out in the open world in a broad daylight so you should have a desire to have a positive mood. and thirdly and most important is cultivate the discipline and dedication to practice those principles that is important we know the principles we are aware of them we are aware that we have a desire to become a positive person in life to have a positive attitude but if we don't have discipline and dedication to practice those principles then we will not be able to achieve that now the steps to change your attitude first is change focus look for the positive how can you do it you have to become a seeker of good you need to focus on the positive in your life start looking for what is right in a person or in a situation instead of looking what is wrong now because unfortunately because of our conditioning most of us are so attuned to fault finding and looking for what is wrong that we often forget to see what is positive now i'll tell you about a person you most of you may have heard about him about andrew carnegie andrew carnegie came to america when he was a young boy he started by doing odd jobs and ended as one of the largest steel manufacturers in the world at one time he had 43 millionaires working with him and million dollar is lot of money today but in 1920s it was worth much more so he was having 43 millionaires who were working with him one day someone asked mr carnegie how he how he dealt with people andrew carnegie replied very politely that dealing with people is like digging a gold when you are digging for an ounce of gold you have to dig tons of tons of dirt to take that ounce of gold and but when you go for digging of gold you don't look for a dirt you look for a gold that is the message he wanted to give is that when we are dealing with people we must dig for the gold because each and every individual of us has some positive points in us same goes with the situation each situation which may think is difficult situation but if we try to find out and dig more like a gold then we will be able to find that every situation has got some positivity in it so what is the thing is that you must change your focus and look for the positive because sometimes it may be apparent that there is something 
There is nothing positive in a person or any situation. But let me tell you, there is no person or no situation which does not have any positivity. Become a gold digger, change focus, look for the positive. The second important thing is make a habit of doing it now. That is one thing which most of us will lack in that. James Elbury, he said, I quote, he slept beneath the room, he bathed beneath the sun, he lived a life going to do and died with nothing done. That should not be the policy. We always procrastinate sometime or the other in our lives. Unjustified procrastinate, postmont is a procrastination, which means not doing what is important. That we must do that could be done, should be done and ought to be done. The habit of procrastination leads to negative attitude and fatigue you more than it effort it takes to do a task. A completed task is fulfilling and energizing. The incomplete task drains your energy. So whenever you procrastinate, just think that you are draining your energy. And as long as you don't complete that task, you will have negativity in your mind, or I'll say you have, you will have guilty in your mind that you are not doing what you are supposed to do. Life is not a dress rehearsal. We have got only one shot at the game. Stakes are too high to be wasted. If you want to build a positive, learn the phrase, do it now, and stop the habit of procrastination. Benjamin Franklin said, never leave till tomorrow, which can be done today. So whatever has to be done, has to be done. That should be your motto. And if you do that, I can assure you, you will be a positive person. Third important thing factor is you must develop an attitude of gratitude. Very, very important. Let me tell you, if you have an attitude of gratitude, you will never have problems in life. A lot of people have this misconception that if they pray to all God, they pray to Almighty, they pray to infinite intelligence, they will get what they want. But that is the wrong approach. If you want to get something from Almighty, what you must do is every day you must be grateful to Him. And I can assure you when you are grateful, you are opening that channel between you and the infinite intelligence or the universe you can call it. And it follows the law, Newton law that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. If you send your gratitude up, you will get the blessings down. So follow that. And if you do that, you will always be positive. Next is get into an Continuous education program. Let me get tell you my example. I am 67 years old. I did my MBA when I was 63 years old. I did my certification on soft skill when I was 65 years old. I am always learning. And if you continue your education program, which is very, very important, you will always have positive attitude. We don't get education in school and college. Let me tell you. We get information. And information is not knowledge. Information is a potential knowledge. Knowledge is when you use, utilize that information, then it becomes a power, then it becomes a knowledge. So continuously try to improve your skills, your education, your certification. Start learning new things. Take that day as a wasted day when you don't learn anything new. And I can assure you, you will always stay positive. Next is build high self-esteem. Very, very important. Now, what is self-esteem? Self-esteem is nothing about the, it is about feeling about yourself. When we feel good, the world looks good. Productivity goes up and our relationship improves both in the office and at home. And reverse is also true. When we feel bad, everything goes down. There's a direct relationship between our feeling and our behavior. So if we improve our self-esteem, obviously our behavior will improve. Now, how do we improve our self-esteem. Just do one thing. And that is the fastest way. That please do something for those who cannot repay you in cash or kind. Just try it. Tomorrow, just try it. Do something for someone who cannot repay you in cash or kind. Your self-esteem will go up. Whenever we do anything, when nobody is watching us, good thing, our self-esteem goes up. When we do something wrong and we think that nobody is watching us, in our own eyes, our self-esteem goes down. And when self-esteem goes down, we become negative person. Next is stay away from negative people. 
or negative influences. It could be negative people. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol, pornography, profanity, etc. According to U.S. Surgeon General report, 90% of people become smokers by the age of 80. How? Because they stay with negative people who are smokers. The research shows that one out of seven casual drinkers become alcoholic. So we must try to stay away from negative people, drugs, alcohol, smoking, other things. Then automatically we will have good feeling of, our, of, of ourselves and we will have positive attitude. Next is learn to like things that needs to be done. Unfortunately, we procrastinate on those things which we don't like. Start by doing what is necessary, then what is possible, and suddenly you are doing the impossible, said Saint Fancy of SAC. Do you think at least all those people, gold medalists in Olympics, they love practicing every day? No, but he does it anyway. Some things need to be done whether we like them or not. So we must even do those things which we don't like to. And last but not the least is start your day with something positive. Now, what is positive? Ramin Sharma talks about five in 5 a.m. club. He talks about par hour. What is par hour? It is that for 20 minutes, you read something inspirational. For 20 minutes, you do physical exercise, which reduces your cortisol and increases your serotonin. And thirdly, you do meditation. If you start your day with one hour of par hour, what Robin Sharma calls, then I can assure you, you will be positive throughout the day. So ladies and gentlemen, in the end, I want to say that if you want to change your life now, change your attitude now. And I can assure you, that is my experience, that you will, I repeat, you will achieve success in your professional life, in your personal life, and in your social life. Thank you very much. I have finished here. If there are any questions, it will be my honor to answer those. Okay. What a meaningful knowledge given by you, sir. I ensure that seminar will be profitable and fruitful for everyone present here. So there are a few questions which the audience wants to be answered. Uh, uh, the first question was, uh, does cultivating a positive attitude mean that we were no longer supposed to feel sad? bad, insecure, angry, upset, and frustrated. How can we cultivate a positive attitude that is capable of living side by side with these all of reality? Look, I have just now I have told you that positive attitude does not mean that your life will be absolutely free of all the troubles. All the problems, all the troubles of life which are there will continue to be there. But what positive attitude will do is the positive attitude will make you so mentally and physically strong that you will be able to understand those problems very clearly. You will be able to make out your plan and you will be able to cross those obstacles successfully. So positive attitude is not a magic wand that once you have a positive attitude in life, then nothing bad is going to happen to you. No, I have never said that. I said that in spite of all the obstacles, if you have a positive attitude, because every, each and every obstacle will have a positive side to it. Follow the policy, follow the philosophy of Ant, which I told you. <coughs> Ant philosophy does not mean that he goes through without any problem. He also faces the obstacle. But how does it carry on? He keeps on persisting. He keeps on trying. So develop positive attitude. And I can assure you, you will be able to face all the difficulties, all the obstacles of life very, very easily. Okay. Now, our second question is, does cultivating a positive attitude towards success require any mental discipline? I told you it requires a discipline because I told you three things. Firstly, you must be aware that there are certain principles which can make you positive or you which you which which can help you in making uh, developing your positive attitude. Number two, there should be desire to, be, uh, to have positive attitude. And number three, which is important, is that you must have discipline and commitment to follow those principles. So without discipline and commitment, you cannot be like a positive, you cannot be a positive person. You cannot have positive attitude every time. Because even if you develop positive attitude, it is not guaranteed that every time you will be positive. Sometimes you will come, you may become negative. But follow those eight principles and you will again become positive. Now, second question is, sir, what is the difference between perception and attitude? Perception is your, how you see the world, how you perceive a situation. 
An attitude is your reaction to that situation. I'll explain. Perception is how you see that situation. And attitude is your reaction to that situation. So if you perceive that situation is bad, but you react in a positive manner with your positive attitude, that is the difference between perception and attitude. Okay. okay. Uh, now, second question is, uh, how can I practice positive thinking in daily life? I told you, you follow these eight principles. You, when you get up in the morning, first thing in the morning, do physical activity, read some inspirational books and do motivation. Number one. Number two, improve your self-esteem. How do you improve your self-esteem? By doing something good for others. Right? Thirdly, you should be grateful to God, to other individuals. You must always forget what you have done good for others, but always remember what others have done good for you. So these eight principles which I have talked about, focus on positivity. See everything, what is positive in any situation or in a person. So if you follow these eight principles in daily life, these are principles of daily life, I can assure you, you will be tried for some time and you will see your life changes. Yeah. Okay. Now, second question is, do you think, sir, ki, uh, pos, po, uh, entrepreneur needs a positive attitude to become an entrepreneur? Everyone needs a positive attitude. Even student needs a positive attitude. Even a housewife needs a positive attitude. All individuals need a positive attitude. There is no thing. Only thing is that if you have positive attitude, you will become a better entrepreneur. You can entrepreneur, you can still become, but you may have negative attitude. And if you have negative attitude, then you may not be successful as an entrepreneur. Can, can negativity actually be an important aspect of developing a positive attitude that is stable and enduring? Obviously, like we must understand that nothing works in vacuum. If you don't have positive attitude, you will have negative attitude. It cannot have, it cannot happen that neither you have positive attitude nor your negative attitude. It, there is no neutral attitude. So if you have a negative attitude and if you have an endeavor to have a positive attitude, then automatically you become, you have positive attitude and negative attitude goes away. All those people who have negative attitude, they, if they follow these principles which I have talked about, they can become positive. Okay. Uh, and, uh, next question is, what practical steps can teacher take to motivate students to get positive attitude to write a test? One thing which I suggest to all the teachers, and that is very, very important, that if you have positive expectation of your students, then you will get a positive result. For example, if I say Tanisha is in my class and I am the teacher and I say that Tanisha is a very good student and this time she will get very good marks, I can assure you Tanisha will work hard and Tanisha will get good marks. It is the expectation whether of teachers or the parents which brings up the child or brings down the child. If teachers tell a student that you are useless, you will not be able to improve, you will not be able to get more good marks, that poor child will never be able to do that. So as a teacher, as a parent, I suggest to everyone that you must always have positive expectation from your children, from your students, and I can assure you, they will never, never let you down. Okay, so our last question is, any secret you would like to share with us that how you maintain your positive attitude? I have got no secret, neither I keep any secret, whatever, if I had secret, I would have been taking this webinar. I have no secret, whatever I know, whatever my experience has given me, I tell you that. And let me tell you one thing, one secret, which I tell you, follow that secret. And that secret is are these eight principles, which I have talked about. Be grateful to God, start your day with positive, help someone, help self, uh, high self-esteem, look good in every situation in every person and these are only the secrets if you call it secret otherwise i have got no secrets okay sir thank you sir okay there is one thing uh, someone has asked me that age has got uh, uh, i don't know what was the exact question but it was something to do with age let me tell you whosoever is asked that age is just a our mental state age has got nothing to do with your education, with your learning. In my age, I learned so many things. I don't, the day which I don't learn anything, I think that day is a mistake. So age has got nothing to do with learning. Keep on learning. And as you keep on learning, you will be more positive person.